can't believe you've even managed the farm on your own this long, Grandma. Well, Robert left things in good shape when he passed. And Thomas has been a, a help. More than the help, though, I've missed having company. Alina stops by now and again, but... But it's so nice having you here, honeybee. Hello! How are things on your farm? I've been thinking, perhaps you would like to try your hand at raising livestock. Like cute little sheep and stuff? That would be so much fun. Great! All we have to do is rebuild the broken down ranch by Thomas's farm. Wait, what? The previous rancher sourced all of the livestock for farms on the island. If you find the materials to rebuild the ranch, I can ask Parker to fix it up and we can flip it to a new rancher who has inquired about moving here. Would make us a tidy little profit. And you could then keep chickens, cows, and such like. Uh, okay, I'll help. <laughs> Wonderful. Just bring the materials to Parker when they're ready. shouldn't have. This looks like a key to the next level.
I guess I'll need some kind of... Dick... Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah. I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. Oh great! <laughs> Let me have a whiff. Uh, yes! They all smell just right. Here, you keep them. They're super useful for someone running a farm. Brew more anytime you have the ingredients handy. Now go ahead. Let the High Priestess know you've finished your potion training. Well done, Initiate. 
you have mastered the art of herbology very quickly. The acolyte tells me she couldn't have done better herself. To recognize your skills and achievement, you may cast away your initiate designation. Yay! I'd really prefer to be called by my... You will be known as novice from this point on. Right. I see. Right! Rest now, and find ways to use your new craft. There'll be more work to do before long. Ah, novice. It will soon be time for the turning of the seasons. Great! I love summer. Picnics, lemonade, going to the beach. But first, we must gather the ingredients for our ritual. I'm sorry, but doesn't the change from spring to summer just happen? You have much to learn. You'll find this island to be different in ways big and small. Gather the items and brew this potion, then we can begin. So, the schoolhouse here, is that where you went to school? Sure did. That's when the other Mrs. Soft, Otto's mom, was the teacher. She was a free spirit. Liked to hold class out on the beach. It's funny Otto turned out the way he did, given his parents. <sighs> Honeybee, I'm going to stay in bed today. I just don't have much energy. Hello, anyone home? Oh, come in, Amira. What perfect timing. Sorry to come by so early. I, uh, heard you were feeling poorly, Hazel. 
How could you have heard that? Well, I try to make a house call at least once a month. I'm sorry I haven't been by more recently. Here's some medicine for Hazel. Thanks. It will make her more comfortable. There's not much more we can do, I'm afraid. What? You're just... giving up? <sighs> That's not fair. I've tried referring her to the best specialists and research trials, but she refused them all. Anyway, I need to get back to the clinic. Hazel, get some rest. I will. Don't worry. Tara's taking good care of me. Oh, don't be mad at Amira, honeybee. She's right. I decided to enjoy the time I had left, <laughs> rather than be strapped to a bed with tubes coming out of me. I'm grateful that I've had the strength to teach you what I can. I am not afraid of what comes next. Everything okay, Natalia? Ugh, I just smashed my thumb with my hammer. I don't know why I ever thought I could do this. I was an insurance claims adjuster. Sat behind a desk my whole life. If it makes you feel any better, I almost drove a garden spike through my own foot earlier today. Uh, oh no! Oh, it's not easy, is it? But it's worth it. Oh, thanks for letting me vent some steam. Speaking of which, I better get back to my forge. Look, I know coming to Fairhaven was the right choice for me. Maybe someday I'll tell you that story. It's hard for me to even believe it sometimes. <laughs>
Hey, got my potatoes yet? Yes, here you go. Thanks. I'm gonna make slop chips the way my pa does, with tomato sauce and vinegar. Here, take this for helping me out. I could make or buy some food or try again tomorrow. Thank you. 
Find the key to this door. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Hey, how's it going on the farm, new girl? Good. Fine. I'm exhausted. Oh, then you came to the right place. So, uh, what are you looking for today? A drink? A new friend? As a bartender, it's my job to get your life story. A new friend would be nice. <laughs> I've been so busy that I haven't really gotten to know anyone yet. <laughs> Stick around this water and hold long enough, and you'll get to know everyone. At least everyone who's cool enough to be a regular at my bar. This place used to be run by my pa. He and my mom moved back home to Johannesburg, so now I take care of it for him. If I think about it too much, <laughs> I really miss my folks. So thanks for taking the time to chat with me about it. I appreciate it. Oh man, the pollen is killer today, and not in a good way. I'll be glad when it's summer and I can give my inhaler a vacation. I didn't know you had asthma. Yeah, but it's not as bad as when I was a kid. My mom used to hover over me every time I sneezed. for bed? <sighs> Honeybee, can we chat for a moment before you go out for the day? Sure, Grandma. I want you to know I've left you the farm in my will. I already spoke to Arthur about it, and he understands. Farm life was never for him. I don't want you to feel obliged if you'd rather return to your old life in the city, but 
Tell me, do you want to stay on after I'm gone? Grandma, you're not giving me the farm. You're going to get better. Oh, honeybee. That's just not the case, I'm afraid. It's better to be prepared. I'm glad that's settled then. I'll have Otto finish the paperwork. Morning! Brought you some groceries. Oh, let me get you some money. Oh, don't you dare. It's the least Parker and I could do. <laughs> Thank you, Lena, dear. You will look after Tara for me, won't you? I've done what I can to get her ready to take my place here, but she'll need a guiding hand. I will. Well, I better let you rest. Give my love to Marcus when you see him. Did you know I grew up in the city too? Oh, this farm was my Aunt Vivian's place. Oh, she was a firecracker, that one. Ran it all on her own. She never did marry. Said she had no use for a husband. <laughs> I think she left a lot of broken hearts in her wake, though.
Oh, brah. And how are you finding our fair town? I hope it's going easier for you than it did for me when I moved here. Why? What happened when you moved here? I was paddling back out after catching a bomb and riding it inshore. Uh, this noob dropped in on me and bam! Uh, smashed right into my shoulder. Wow. I can't believe you ever found the courage to go back out on the water. <laughs> nah, bro. You gotta get back on the steed. Am I right? I never doubted that I would get back on the waves. I just had to wait for Dr. Syed to give me the all clear. Then I started working for Sheila, who used to run this stand. Uh, when she pieced out to retire in Milkwater, I took over. Glad you're here. Stop by anytime. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's it's really pretty and it, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit. Not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, is, I... Yeah, as sharp as a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No respect for their elders.
Oh, quick! Oh, quick! Oh, yeah! Is it? It is! A recipe!
locked tight. Long day. <sighs> Morning. Brought you some firewood, Hazel. How kind of you, Thomas. I'll just, uh, go somewhere else. Lena told me you've been a bit under the weather. Mm, I have. But Tara's been doing a pretty good job taking care of the farm, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Hazel, I just wanted to say thank you. After my dad passed, you and Robert were there for us. I have never forgotten it. It was the least we could do. Most things I picked up watching your dad in his garden. <laughs> he was right about most things when it came to farming. Hard as it was for me to admit, he was just so stern and impossible to please. Well, I'll be on my way. Maybe I just don't have a good memory. But when I was little, didn't your farm look different? Probably. I was growing more kinds of crops back then. That was right after my mom left the farm to me. I was ambitious in those days. <laughs> Tried growing a little bit of everything. Now I grow what actually suits the soil.
Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you. I love that little jacket dress combo. No one in Fairhaven cares much about fashion, other than Francis, Sophia, and myself. Oh, thanks. That must have been one nice thing about living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration. I do miss getting to wear impractical things sometimes without having to worry about them getting covered in mud. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've ruined so many pairs of cute shoes in my garden, I can't even talk about it. Don't get me wrong. I like selling flowers, but my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When I do, folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. <laughs> Did the bees make any honey yet? No, but they're working on it. I think? It, it's hard to tell. Make sure you give them lots of flowers. A good variety helps too.
I could eat some food to Key to the next level.
that outside, dear? It's... Vanessa? <laughs> I don't have the energy for her. Tell her I'm asleep. Good morning, Tara. I just wanted to bring some cupcakes for your grandmother. <sighs> She's asleep, but I'll take them. Wonderful. I made them myself. I'm not the best baker, but I tried. These look delicious, Vanessa. Thank you. You're welcome. I would have bought cupcakes from Angus, but I wanted to show that I really do care. By the way, I'm not just here because I'm the mayor's wife. When I was in high school, my best friend got sick. Also cancer. I supported her as much as I could. But it wears on you, being a caretaker. Did your friend recover? Her name was Amy. And she didn't. No. I am so sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. In any case, I'm here if you want to talk. And now I'll be going. I don't want to wear out my welcome. Huh. Grandma, did you hear that? What? Uh, I was just resting my eyes. And you said it was only pretend. I'll leave you be. Oh, I don't... Good. You're finally awake. Mm. Amira? You pushed yourself too hard and developed a fever. Then you passed out. I was having... Oof, amazing hallucinations. <laughs> Sorry, Tara, but it's back to the real world for you. Now, it may take a few days for you to go back to feeling normal. And don't let me catch you treating yourself poorly again, or we will have words. Mm, okay. You're scary with words. Won't do that. I'm already feeling better, though. Whatever Amira puts in her medicine, it's amazing.
Should I go to bed?
Jeez Louise, Tara. Are you sure? Ha, I didn't think anyone would actually find this for me.
Hands. Locked tight. I'm all out of s- I could eat some food to rip-